Hello everybody, Jordan here, and today we've got another video for you guys, and today we've got the Airbus A321 Neo ACF exit configuration. Now, I know Airbus likes to slam in everybody's face of how many orders they get with the A321. However, not there's like five different types of an A321 you can order now, and not every one of them sells to the brink, so basically the A321 Neo ACF is the A321 Neo, only in a different exit configuration that completely changes the game. What, what happened is basically, not a lot of airlines have ordered this variant, so so, yeah, that's why this video is going to be hecka short. So, yeah, we're accompanied by Miles today. Now, I do hope his audio actually goes through, because last time his audio didn't go through, and I just didn't tell him about it. I figured it out eventually, but, um, uh, we saw this thing come out over winter break. I was in Mexico, I got really bored, and in post to being like a normal child and relaxing by the poolside, I hopped on my little freaking computer and slapped- Okay, now continuing on, so here's like the base aircraft. Now we have the CFM Leap 1A engines for the aircraft, the 737 MAX for, on the contrary, op the Ignore these maxes. Ignore these maxes, please. The max is- that's- that's not a good max. Th this is a good max right here. This is a good max. That's a bad max. That's outdated. However, on the topic of CFM engines, this is the CFM Leap 1B engine, and it's- It's the Bratwick Whitney TW. I broke my pen slamming it on my desk about that. It's the Pratt Whitney geared turbofan engine. There's also an option for the uh, Leap 1A engine for this, but yeah, who cares? So yeah, no, the engine is big, and uh, because of the kind of block size, we had to mess around with some slabs. I'm pretty happy with how it turned out because, you know, it's very difficult to kind of work around it this uh, size hindrance right there. We have the uh, sharklets and then the rest of the fuselage. So as you can see, the exits are like a 757, sort of. We have the forward exit. There's no exit right here. And then there's overwing exits. There's an aft exit. And then there's an, like a full rear exit. So it's a little bit of a different and weird configuration, but airlines, actually, I'm not going to say airlines like it because it's not getting a lot of orders. We also have the uh, new Airbus mask because apparently they think it looks great on all planes. Now, don't get me wrong. This does look good on the A350 and A320 series. However, in my opinion, the A330, what are you doing? I mean, it's also pretty fun. Have you seen what an A350 looks like without the mask on? I mean, you need to put the mask on there in order to say, hey, this is an A350, not a 787. Please don't sue me. Jokes aside, here at JCTV Industries, Airbus is a good manufacturer, and we like to throw puns at them because they're good, not because we're biased against Boeing. All right, aside this, uh, we have the uh, door, nose gear right here, uh, rear landing gear, light, exit, and then here's the uh, gear bay, and um, they're full extensions that are used to get measurements and readings for the pilots. Beacon light, aft stabilizer, and the stabilizer trim along with the auxiliary power unit back here. So yeah, now on the interior of this aircraft, as you can see, we have the throttle quadrant and the side six. Again, I know very well that this is a 737 style yoke and that this is an Airbus plane, and honestly, it doesn't look like this, but hey, it's, it's better than nothing, so. We're gonna move with that. Yeah, the MCP right here, and then the, actually there should be some carpet right there, but you have the MCP panel and then foot pedals down here. We also have your seats. Outside the cockpit, we have the galley right here, and then a um, first class, if you will, or business, whatever you want to call it. Uh, usually, this is where the, um, excuse me, L2 and R2 doors, but we don't have that anymore. So here's just economy back here, and we have some lavatories more economy and then yeah lavatories back here so we also have aft galley lavatories seating emergency exits and then overwing exits over here for the aircraft and then the overhead bin now oh crap i forgot to mention this aircraft airbus has her own sky interior thing so okay and just like that we have mood lighting on board this airplane because airbus has their own now Alright, and to add, we also have a cargo hold on board this aircraft right here. It's not very big, but a cargo hold is a cargo hold, so cargo hold, uh, more blocks, and then the rear cargo hold right here on board the aircraft. So now we can start towing livery. Uh, yeah, so I did all these liveries. First off, we're doing the Airbus uh, 320 Neo, uh, 321 Neo ACF house livery. It says from New York to Paris, like, unmatchable efficiency, something like that. The green tax, it's like dot from Statue of Liberty to Eiffel Tower. It's like the normal Airbus livery with this random sticker on it. Uh, same interior as the base aircraft, so nothing else to say there. Okay. Uh, 
continuing on, we have Fly Pegasus. Stop! So, add on, I know everybody's looking at this A300. I'm gonna call it out as it is now. Do not dare think this plane is done, because it's not. It's, uh, as you can see, it still has, uh, quartz stairs and slabs. This gives you an indication we have not touched this plane for months, so, yeah. Please do not give this plane any judgment. It's not done. It's not ready or anything else. Our next movie right here is Fly Pegasus. Didn't they, like, overrun and nearly crashed the 737 like a few weeks ago or something yeah they are they boarded the aircraft and um yeah so here's the fly pegasus text we have the horizontal i'm sorry vertical stabilizer with the fly pegasus text on it sharklets that are all yellow and then the gray inches and gray underbelly again liberty by miles on the interior fly pegasus as you can see all economy this ought to be fun with uh with yellow i mean gold with goldish side panels. So yeah, all economy with that. This ought to be a pretty interesting interior. I mean, all economy on this. Our next sleeper right here is Delta Airlines because Ed Bastian hates Boeing and anything American. So our first thing, we have the Delta text right there, the Delta underbelly, and over here, we also have the Delta logo, which is now a feature on all new Delta aircraft, and they're fitting it to all the current aircraft. We have the Delta widget on the stabilizer along with the ship number, and then uh, the Delta new winglet design, with they have the widget plastered on the winglets too. So on the interior of the aircraft, it's just like their basic A320, it's just, you know, stretched differently. Uh, we have business class for Delta Airlines, uh, Delta Comfort Plus, and then just regular economy throughout the rest of the cabin right here. Also, we got to mention the blue engines right here. Oh, uh, yeah, it would have been nice to see this livery on a max. But our final livery of the day, yeah, we're done already, is a uh, Qatar A321. So, uh, yeah, they've ordered this too. So, yeah, now, I'm not sure when they're supposed to take this, but uh, Qatar has always been a pretty uh, strong uh, supporter of Airbus and their products, so... Uh, Qatar is basically the exact same thing as the A321, only it's plastered on a Neo with a different exit configuration, so business class, and then just economy back here, so... You know, that's all the libraries we have for today. I know this video is a lot shorter than the traditional video. Also, forgot to mention, we have a beacon light under there. And we also have some lights under there. Uh, but yeah, now, uh, regarding the CRJ, yes, tutorial's coming. And just wanted to get a video out real quick for this. But a CRJ tutorial is coming. We just want to get the entire CRJ family done before we get started on that. So, yeah, anyway, if you've enjoyed this video, please like, comment, subscribe. If you like to see the HB20 video where we show off, you know, a lot more liveries than, um, you know, like this right here and this and this. If you, if you want to see all this jazz, uh, go check the 1.51 scaled aircraft playlist. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'm Jordan and this was with Miles and, um, jazz, jazz hands.